I think because of the uh, quite deep levels of mistrust, you know, that exists, you know, whether is it business or government and labor, it puts business in a very difficult and a tight position, you know, to be able to be a convener of some of these uh, initiatives. Yet, it's still a very important role player, you know, in, sure. in those conversations. And, and I think in the mining industry, for example, um, we have started um, what we call courageous conversations with the faith-based leaders, you know, to be able to identify the common issues, you know, that affect us, the common issues. Is government that, involved in those conversations? You know, Nicola, that's a very interesting. We've extended the invitation through the faith-based leaders. An invitation has, has been extended to business uh, I mean, to government, we are not giving up. We believe that a far more sustained solution would be when we, all of us, get around the table, at least have the maturity to agree, to disagree, but also identify and work on all of those issues that brings us together, that gives us a good platform to say that on these things we, we do agree, you know, can we at least move forward and advance the conversation on these issues, you know. Look, I mean, the, the reality is that we have a very good legacy that uh, Madiba has left us with as a country where we, all the key role players went into a space where the differences of opinion and yet they were able to make some trade-offs. Mm -hmm. And on the back of that, we've been able to build the kind of country that is peaceful that we have today. So even if we disagree, we cannot leave you know, the negotiating table. Even on this mining charter, we may go to court to be able to force the parties to, to be able to reset the conversation. But the lasting solution will be the one which is negotiated by all of them.